Hello and welcome to this first introduction video about uh, creating minimalistic animations in Touch Designer. Um, this is uh, the first tutorial I ever recorded, so please apologize for my um, not well prepared section. So basically, um, this is about a few um, videos or animation I did with. Touch Designer, um, that's me, I'm Block. And in the past few months or so, I was trying to learn Touch Designer for myself. Um, and I decided to basically make a small animation every day. So this daily thing um, brought me to where I am now. And in the last couple of days and weeks, I got a a lot of requests for uh, how to approach this um, different yeah, animation style or stylistic look. So um, yeah, this is the first series on um, how to create those um, animations and I decided it to um, make it in small parts where I just cover different techniques or topics like um, different tops or subs um, so I plan to make every um, video pretty short um, but this would be actually a little bit longer because it's an introduction video so um, yeah let's just start um, this series is meant for people who are very very new to touch designer so maybe um, I will cover pretty much basic stuff um, but a small part of it is actually using expressions. Um, so if you don't understand something, just write it in the comments and I'll try to answer it or refer to um, other people who explain this much better than me. So this is a new instance of Touch Designer and um, the first thing I'll always do is um, just make a basic setup. So if you press um, tab on your computer, you open this um, operator dialog and the first thing I always do is insert a new container so um, yeah this is like a document in, inside a document so yeah that's just my style of working then if you just double click on it you enter um, this container and the first thing I always do is just um, toggle um, the network editor grid off because it distracts me a bit um, yeah so um, the first thing to do is just go to top um, and put in a constant. Um, from this constant I right click on the outlet on the right side and put it into an out. So we're basically having a white background that's doing nothing. Um, so I scroll out and I'm in the container right now, so the container is basically holding all the image we're creating and I usually set it up so I can preview every little thing I do inside this container though the first thing to do is just um, set the um, dimensions of the resolution of this thing by um, writing a little short expression, that's basically the only expression I ever use, so just uh, follow me and type it in. It's me dot parent brackets par with and me parent par height. So it takes um, the dimensions of the element it's inside. In this case, it's um, the container. So if we change um, the width and height here. I normally use 800 by 800 and it updates in this. Um, the second thing to do is just um, go to the looks tab and background top and write this expression out1 so we refer to the out1 operator inside the container. So if we click on the edge of this we can fit it in there 
And if we go inside, you'll see um, the out one is what's displayed in the, um, in the container. And I do this all because I can now hit um, this little um, open viewer dialog um, and get a preview window of what I'm actually doing. In this case, it's just a white background because we're just setting up a white background. Um, to make this more apparent, the second thing I always do is just um, drop in a rectangle, um, just open the operator dialog and search for rectangle um, and fit this into a null. Actually, I always go to the comment tab of every single element. I don't know if there's a quicker way to do, but I always type in the expression I put in this, uh, inside the constant. Metered parent par width. Height. And yeah, so I, I set the basic dimensions of every element um, to 800 by 800 for now. Um, because that's what I typed in um, the container. I do insert, oh, maybe you just right click on a, on a line between two operators and then you get this dialog where it says insert operator and I'll put a null in here. Basically it's always smart to put a null at the end of everything you do because um, it, it uh, saves you a lot of work afterwards. Right now it doesn't make so much sense, but believe me, it will do. So um, I'll insert a composite after this and plug this into the out. So um, when we hit the preview button right there, we get a black background and a white square on top of it. Um, that's because the operator is set to multiply. Um, we can change it um, to over. So it puts, uh, it's like in Photoshop, you got your, your, your layers, null one is below null, uh, null two, sorry, null two is below null one. Um, you won't see it because it's both white so we go to the constant and um, change the background color to yeah, something light grayish. And if we hit um, the preview button, we'll see what we've done so far. So that's basically the setup I do when I start a new project. And yeah, that's it for now.